Welcome back everybody, it's Moist Plasma again. Uh, today we're in Blender. We're going to make an asset for the Metal Gear Solid game, um, which I'll do another video on in the future, but we're going to make a key card for the different type of doors you can open throughout the game. So let's jump right into it. I'm um, using Blender version 2.79. So here's the starting screen. Your, um, Startup file. I'm just going to hit A to uh, hit A to select all, and hit X to delete everything. I'm going to add a cube, and I'm going to come down here to background images. I'm going to check that box. I'm going to hit open. Go to my where I have it saved, and I have an image of a playing card that I want to use as a reference for size. So on my number pad, I'm going to hit 5 to go into orthographic and then 3 to go to side profile. And here I can just scale up my card on the Z axis to meet the required height. Right about there is fine. And I'm going to scale it on the Y also. Just like that. I'm going to hit 1 on the keypad to get to the pro side profile. I'm going to scale it down on the x-axis, right about there. Okay. Now I want this to have kind of a not so ordinary plane look to it, so I'm going to add some uh, bevels on two corners, and then I'm going to chamfer. I believe it's called a chamfer on the other side. Uh, so let's go into edit mode. I'm going to go to edge select. I'm going to select this corner and this corner. I'm going to hold uh, or press control B and drag outward just a little bit like that. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this corner and this corner. Hit control B again. Drag it out. But instead of doing flat this time, I'm going to scroll up on my mouse wheel and add some rounded corners. Like that. And uh, let's control Z that. Let's do that again so we can see the playing card this time. So it's control B. Bring it out. And then roll up with the mouse wheel until we can get the corners lined up with the playing card. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to take, go back into 3 on the number pad, come out of edit mode, back into object, I'm going to hold, sh or press shift A and make another cube. Now I'm going to scale this on the Z axis to make a slot, and I'll scale it on the Y just a little bit also. I'm going to bring it up here to the top, right about there. And you can see it goes through both sides, which is what we want. So with the key card selected, I'm going to go add a modifier. I'm going to add a Boolean modifier, and I'm going to select Difference. Now with the eyedropper, I'm going to select the cube we just made and hit Apply. Now you can see we have a slot built into our key card, or like a lanyard would hook onto or something like that. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to go back into edit mode. I'm going to select all these edges like that. I'm going to add another modifier and hit bevel this time. We're going to select a weighted, scroll up, and we're going to take our mean bevel, what is it? Mean bevel weight and hit 0.5. And we're going to hit sections 3. Now that'll only bevel this edge to on a 0.5 weight. We're also going to bevel. Mm, now we'll leave those pretty flat. Hit apply. Oops, sorry. We'll come out of edit mode first. Back in object and hit apply. Okay. Now to add a little bit more geometry to this. I'm going to delete this first. I'm going to add another cube. 
this time we're going to extend it on the y-axis just like that and I'm going to bring it out this way just so it's a little bit inset and we're going to do the same thing we're going <clears> to <throat> excuse me we're going to add another boolean of uh, type difference again and hit the eyedropper on this big cube and hit apply going to delete it and now you'll see we have a cutout if you want to add a quick color to it to see it better, you can come over down here to Matte Cap, select this, and you can pick any of these colors on here to see uh, how it looks. Like if you wanted to put a gold finish on it, you can see how it looks with that. But generally, unless it's not high poly, it's going to look all flashy. So I usually stick with like a, a gloss blue or the gloss red. Sometimes even something a little more matte like uh, this matte gray or this blue. So now you can see that it has a slot in it. We could cut another one on the back side or we can just do a symmetri a symmetrize. Um, you'll see. Just click on your object, come into edit mode, select all, click on mesh and hit symmetrize. We want to symmetrize positive x to negative x. So the arrows pointing towards positive and neg and we want to select negative. So down here in direction, you need to select positive x to negative x. And bam, did all the work for us. This is real handy when you have a lot of stuff going on on one side and you don't want to redo it on the second side. And it's real quick. It does add a split down the middle. So it kind of doubles your poly count. So I wouldn't do it on something with, you know, hundreds of thousands of polys. Unless your system can handle that. So I'm going to just come out of edit mode. And there we go. Pretty basic. Nothing too exciting. It's going to be small in the game, so there's no point adding a ton of detail into it. Okay. And in the game, this is all going to be white or some kind of neutral color except for this band in the middle it'll have the color of the door it works with so that's pretty simple so now we gotta export it and before we do that we gotta come back into edit mode select all we gotta add a material to it so in uh, UE4 it won't throw an error so just click new you probably don't have to hit assign but I click assign just in case you don't need to worry about adding a color to it if you don't want to. And then we're going to hit U to Smart UV Project. Hit OK. And then we're going to come out here to Export. We're going to go and do where we save all our stuff. Call it what you want to call it. I'm going to call it Key Card. Key Card. All right. And now export. Oh, wait, sorry. Hit geometry and then change this from normals only to face. That'll get rid of the smoothing error that usually pops up in UV4 when you import something. And hit export. And now I'm going to save it real quick. Save as keycard. Oh, crap. We forgot one step. This is huge. This is like bigger than some of the buildings in the game. So I'm going to select it all. And I'm going to come into object mode and just hit scale. Scale way down. And currently the dimensions are 0 0.2 by, I'm oh sorry, 0 0.02 by 0.25 by 0.3, which is almost half a meter. So let's go let's scale that a little bit more. Let's scale that down to right about there. All right. So let's export this again as an FBX and save it one more time. All right. So let's go into UE4 and we will come over to our blueprints, keycard pickup, and in viewport 
static mesh. Got to import it first. So assets. Go to where I saved it. Key card. Bring it into UE4. <clears throat> And just hit import. Let's check it out. Let's check the size reference. It's about the right size for a key card, I would say. Okay. A lot of detail for something that's not super noticeable. That's okay though. So once you pick it up, you'll never see it again. Alrighty. So now we'll go back into our blueprints, pick up where we left off, and we will add key card static mesh to this. We'll compile that and save it. And now we can delete this one. Drag this in. And let's look at it, see what it's doing. Where is it? Hmm, interesting. Let's scale this up a little bit. Let's scale it to 10 by 10 by 10. Hmm. Interesting. Definitely working. The mesh works. Hmm. Let's try this. Assets key card. Okay, there it is. That was weird. So when you find these in the game, they will be rotating like this. And you'll be able to pick them up and use them on these doors. All right, so let's delete that. We don't need that right now. And then we'll also delete the other one we have. And there we go. So it'll operate these doors like this is a going to be textured as a red door. This is the red key pickup. So you'll be able to pick up a key and come over here and open the door and go in. And then so I have the red key. This door is slotted to only work with a purple key. So you can see my red key doesn't work with it. But I can pick up this purple one and I can open it now. I can go in and it'll close behind me. And then I can just walk up to it again and open it. Easy. 
All right, thanks for watching, guys. As always, please like and subscribe, and uh, leave a comment, and I'll get to you guys in the next video. Thanks.